Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. Alex Stefanowitz was on his way into a tax collector's office instead of eating lunch at noon on Friday. I seem to uh, renew my registration. Alex had been pulled over for speeding when police noticed his tag had expired at the end of September. They give you a warning or something, that'd be nice. On any given day, there are an estimated 300,000 people driving around Florida with an expired tag like this one. On Tuesday, Governor Rick Scott and the state cabinet are expected to take the first steps to completely redesign the state's license plates. The redesign would force everyone with an expired tag to get a new one. No one's quibbling about the new design, but Florida's 67 tax collectors are concerned about a plan to privatize distribution. My paperwork this morning. The state's highway safety power, director outlined the plan two weeks ago. Point. Any privatization of this process will not result in an increased charge to the customer or less customer service. But privatizing would likely raise the cost of a tag by two and a half dollars in at least 16 counties that don't charge an add-on fee for distribution. Paying more is something other, Alex uh, doesn't want to do. Yeah, my speeding ticket was 288, and then this fee was one, this is 80, and then the fee for not having it was 123, so it's like a $500 day. Nor do many others. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vasilindo reporting.